I'm sitting here trying to do my nails, but these motherfuckers got me mad. Like you, you using a fucking rake blower for for leaves, nigga. Leaves, leaves is the problem. So it's leaves, right? It's not the fucking tampons and baby diapers and fucking box of donuts or the underwear in the fucking tree that has been there for six years. No, that's not the problem. It's the fucking leaves. Leaves are the issue. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Leaves. You think I'm lying? You watch. Look, look at this shit. This is my view. Look at my view. I don't know if you can see it, but there's fucking underwear literally in the tree. Why? I can't get it, but they're worried about leaves. Leaves. Not, you see? You see what that is? That's a fucking piece of tissue with shit in it. This is my view. This is my view. This is the world I have to look forward to. This is the inspiration I get in the fucking morning. And people wonder why they spend the rest of their fucking lives in the projects. We are sleep deprived. We are fucking assaulted by chemical bioweapons. I don't care if I'm being dramatic. It's poop out my fucking window. And I don't know if it's human or, or animal. Look, it's, look at my dog. My dog don't poop out there. Why? Because I have fucking sense. That's why. Because I'm a courteous dog owner. Right, Achilles? He doesn't like yelling. He doesn't like when I get upset. Mom's okay, buddy. Mom's okay. But no, I'm not okay. I'm okay, buddy. I'm not okay. Because this bullshit is what I have to deal with. And I get mad at the people that live here. No, it's bigger than the people. It's the environment that we're fucking put in. I don't, if you live in the projects, you understand. My, my hair's a mess. I'm gonna come on camera and talk more eloquently about it, but I am furious. Cause my ears are still ringing from this morning's fucking leaf blower. There's a reason why homeowners associations around the country and world ban these bitches. There's a reason why in the state of California, those shit that the sale and ownership of it will be illegal moving forward because of this shit. Over 20 states have are passing legislation against leaf blowers. Not those little electric shits. No, no, no. I'm talking about the SpongeBob fucking leaf blowers that if you blow it down, it'll blow your ass up. Those leaf blowers. And then a few minutes ago, as I'm typing my fucking email, because higher night you, you're going to hear this shit, and it's going to end through you. I'm sick. I'm on my white woman shit. I'm writing a letter. I wrote a letter, and I sent it, and these niggas talking about, oh, y'all got rights, where the rights are. I'm going to put a video in so y'all can hear. And then I got all hyped, because I'm like, yeah, turn that shit off and get a fucking rape. Do some work. And, it's, and it sucks, because I know that nitro workers... They only hire people who live in NYCHA. So you live in this bitch. You, not this development, but another one. You know what it's like to live in a project. And you're facilitating the, the fucking, the, the bad environment we're already in, bro. You live here. You live here. But because you don't live in this building, it's fuck it. No. No, we got to start doing better, not expecting better from other fucking people. We're not going to get these hand-me-downs. We are not the, the, the concern. Democrats, Republicans, Independents, I don't give a fuck. We are not the concern. And by we, I mean black people living in the fucking projects. And everybody else who's here, all types of brown people. Anyone with color, they don't care. They loop us in these fucking places. Give us job. I'm, I'm sitting at home trying to make this shit work, talking to y'all about it, because there is no opportunity, nor is there an environment that fosters motivation to get the opportunity, the little that's out there. The only, oh, you can have food stamps if you don't have a job, or you can be a cash assistant if you don't have a job. I was in the shelter years ago, and a woman told me to my face, you are not going to get no program unless you quit your job. So I told her to quit her fucking job. Oh, she didn't take too kind to that. I had to work and save up money to get the fuck up out of there. 
and that's a whole nother story time but i was trying to move to new hampshire couldn't move to new hampshire so this place was available this has been in my family for over 45 years my mother grew up here my aunts and uncles grew, grew up here this is that apartment the exact apartment and back when my grandparents were here, my grandfather was of stable mind. He was in a thing called tenant patrol. And I think we need to bring that back. What happened to the decency of, of respecting your neighbors or, or saying hi to one another, giving each other courtesy to children and elderly people? Leaf blowers at 9 a.m.? And you can't use the excuse, oh, well, you should be working anyway. No, because in order to fucking live here, most people don't work. <laughs> so which is it? Which is it? It is a trap to keep people satiated with the little pleasures of drugs, alcohol, food, and this internet shit to keep us distracted. Let's wake up. Send those fucking letters. And I sent that, I called around, sent letters. That shit was off and they were talking about finding rakes. 30 minutes later, 30 minutes. It took one person to say, hey, I don't think y'all should be doing that. Let me Google this shit. Google it and lo and behold. So you're telling me I can't hear, I can't breathe. I might have a stroke. I might have a fucking heart attack. And the own zone layer is going to come crashing down because y'all niggas don't want to rake, which is good for cardiovascular health anyway. What part of Rick's? Let me do my nails. Let me take my hair out. So y'all can see I'm not no bald-headed scallywag on here. And I actually take care of myself. That's what I want people to do is take fucking care of themselves. And no, my hair isn't permed. It's natural. I just got it cut so she blows it out. Ugh. I love my hairstyle. She's awesome. And I'm my own nail artist since I am a nail artist. But I'm not working in those fucking chop shops anymore because how dare you? Absolutely not. My man got two jobs. Quite literally. <laughs> so, all that aside, I'm going to do my fucking nails, calm down, and then I'm going to come back on here and give a full video about this bullshit, about living here. Peace, y'all. It's Project Princess A. It's the Project Princess A. It's the Project Princess A.